Okay, so, Fundamentals, Testing, Part 1. Oh, and before I forget, the next session, um, the next two-hour training is tomorrow, Sunday, from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., okay? Right, and typically Saturday mornings will be 8 or 10. I'm also planning one more session during the week, if time permits, and that will be a Wednesday from 7pm to 9pm. Okie okay, dokie. Okay, so, why is testing needed? Uh, so the ISTQB exam that you guys are planning to sit down the track after you've done this course and some study, is um, you'll be given um, some learnings, K2s, K3s, K4s, um, it's a multi-choice exam, so you, the trick in the exam is understanding the subtleties between um, the answers given in a question. If you know your stuff, you will do well. If you don't, uh, or not partially, then you could easily, um, in a multi-choice, put the wrong answer. So anyway, the objectives, if you're going to look at ways in which uh, a defect in software can cause harm to a person, and I know I spoke about this um, when interviewing some of you guys, you know, if, if the software is wrong on a plane, people could fall out of the sky. Um, the distinguish between the root cause of a defect and its effects, and give reasons why testing is necessary. Okay. Um, we're going to compare the terms of error, defects, faults, failures, and why testing is part of quality assurance, um, and have examples of how testing contributes to higher quality. So, why is testing necessary? Uh, we depend more and more on software systems, uh, financial, consumer products, cars, healthcare, government, um, we've already had the example of a plane falling out of the sky, uh, banking, you know, if, it, if you go to the ATM that gives you the wrong amount out of the machine, um, cars, if the, um, a lot of the cars, modern cars these days are computer based, if they break down the car doesn't go, but worse than that if uh, parts of the car fail, then obviously have deaths. Same in healthcare. Government, they have uh, legislation. They'll say, for example, um, GST will go up. So we had the example of it going from 12.5% to 15%. Um, if we put the wrong amounts in the system or don't test the system properly, that means obviously the government might not get taxes. Not that that's to us, but it is for them. Um, so yeah, as I said, financial, you can have a loss of money, you can have loss of time, business reputation. Um, there are a lot of mobile apps out there at the moment that are struggling because they uh, aren't doing what the customer wants and a lot of people just want things to work and they want them to work. Um, life dependencies, as I said, airplanes, hospitals, if a piece of equipment doesn't work on a, in the hospital, it can lead to someone dying. So, information systems, and some of you all know this because you've been um, putting computers together. Information systems contain multiple components. they software, hardware, data, procedures and people, and all are vital, vitally important. I don't know if you've ever been to a hospital, and I'll go through a checklist of all the things that they need to do, like administer uh, drugs, um, make sure they give the right amount of doses of IVs, um, you've obviously got the people who enter information into systems, the data that's contained in those systems, the hardware obviously has to be working. 
I tried to actually train this course earlier on, but I couldn't get my computer to go, so I had to buy a new one, um, as an example. And software, of course, and most testing that uh, the ICQB focuses around is the software itself. So yeah, although we use the term software testing, um, it includes other components. Um, as you know, this morning I tried to get the speaker to work. Um, it, it actually used another browser. So most of us have been using software that could have been tested better. One thing I would like to say at this point, um, businesses will make a decision about quality over speed to market. And they've got to realize that the impact on them, if they don't get to market, they lose money. Um, they lose um, reputation because other providers come out um, sooner. So those are lost opportunities. But unfortunately, it's a bit of a catch-22 because if they put out software that is quite buggy, um, they lose money because they stop selling that software or the product that they're trying to sell. They um, end up with a bad reputation and um, lost opportunities. You know, they can go and fix those bugs, put out better software, but by then, um, people have given up. Okay, how's the pace? Am I going too fast, too slow, just right? Too many examples? Cool, okay. So, um, why is testing needed? So if people who gathered requirements did a perfect job, and the programmers wrote the software and didn't put bugs in it, then testers aren't really necessary. Um, but no one writes perfect requirements or a perfect process. Um, we're all human and humans make mistakes. And programmers, not that they're trying to keep us employed, but they will they can only do so much. They won't consider a whole lot of scenarios that we are employed to do. So our role is to make sure that the product meets the requirements and it works in a way that doesn't crash the system. We will never know if the system is bug free and we're gonna cover that later on in this course. So as I said, people make mistakes, not intentionally. Um, so in a requirement um, that's called uh, static testing, you'll go through a requirements document. Um, worst case scenario is if a, a programmer, there's a defect in the code, um, then that'll cause a failure. Uh, so defects in software, um, software systems or documents may result in failures and our job is to spot the ones that are important so as I said humans make mistakes carelessness not concentrating on the job also not really knowing what is needed um, thinking you know making assumptions uh, one of the testers' role is not to make assumptions. Um, time pressure, uh, as I said, get a product to market and you've got a, a timeline. Uh, the government imposes a lot of time pressure. Um, for example, as I said, the uh, GST going up, they'll say GST is going up on a certain date and then it's up to software developers and testers to make sure that everything that has a cost in the system